Hello, everyone. It is August 9th, a couple days after New Comic Book Day, so I thought I would go ahead and get a video up uh, of my new pickups. I've had a couple things going on the last couple days and haven't had a chance to do it, so uh, here we go. Uh, Fatal, number 16. Cross Badlands, number 34. That's the regular cover. Here's the Red Cross edition. The wrap cover, which is a real nice looking cover, this one, nice wicked cover. And the torture cover. Uh, New 52 Detective 23. Uh, Wonderland. Grim Fairy Tales. I liked it because it was just kind of a, a cool looking cover, you know, pouring the blood and got the Mad Hatter back there with his knife and the cat's pretty fucked up, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, Oz came out with this uh, different covers, so I kind of liked them. Picked those up. Deadpool kills Deadpool number two. Green Lantern, New 52, number 23. New book from Frank Miller. Uh, it's a limited, it's a short series, uh, eight story, uh, short story, Robocop Last Stand. This is Satellite Sam, number one, but this is a second print. Pick that up, and then picked up the number two, issue two of Satellite Sam. Another one from Image. Uh, Superior Carnage, number two. And of course, uh, Avatar, and they have Ferrell's, the uh, werewolf book, and then they came out with a different version uh, called Skin Trade. So this is the regular cover. And this is the wraparound cover. This is the skinned edition, which is kind of like the Red Cross or the, you know, Emperor cover from, the, from Caligula. And this is the Grizzly cover. I've got the you know, face coming off, the wolf's face coming off the skull, so it's kind of wicked there. Um, so we got some skin trade. Superior Carnage, a couple Satellite Sams, uh, number one second print, and the number two, Frank Miller's new book, Robocop Last Stand, eight-part mini-series, uh, Green Lantern, Deadpool Kills Deadpool, um, Oz, just the covers with the Scarecrow down there, uh, Wonder Alice in Wonderland, or, you know, Dream Fairy Tales Wonderland, Detective 23, and some Crossed, which I liked, and, of course, Fatal. If you haven't read Fatal... Um, I, that's a really good story. It's a good book. It's a good story. Uh, check that out. Uh, and now, of course, uh, I have to rant about something um, that kind of uh, I thought was funny. Um, I've been saying all along that when you collect things, collect what you like. Do what you want. It's your money. If it makes you feel good, it's all that matters. So I'm watching some YouTube videos. And I come across this video, and it's talking about how, uh, you know, to store your comics. So I always like to see how other people do things and see if maybe it'll work for me. Uh, of course, I have my way of doing things. I've shown that on other videos. Hopefully, some of you out there are doing what I do. So uh, I'm watching the video, and it is a young man. doesn't show his face, but the way he's talking, maybe he's a little slow. And he is showing off his... Sonic the Hedgehog comic book collection and how he likes to store his Sonic books. Okay. He uses plastic tubs. Just, you know, pull the lid off and he puts his Sonic books in there and you snap the top. And is it a good way to store the books? Not the way I would store the books. Probably not the way a lot of you would store the books. But he was very enthusiastic about his video. He loved his Sonic the Hedgehog collection. Good for him. I like that. If you're excited about it, do your thing, man. Fly your flag. But then you start reading some comments. And people are calling him stupid. And how can you 
you know, store your books that way, and you have to be retarded, and I, you know what? Look, like I said all along, if you don't like it, okay. The gentleman, or the kid, or the adult, whatever, he enjoyed showing off his Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't collect Sonic the Hedgehog. I have no interest in Sonic the Hedgehog. He was very excited about his Sonic the Hedgehog. I applaud him for doing a video. I applaud him for showing it off. Good for him. Leave him alone. People should... You get kind of tired of looking at people give negative comments because it's something that they don't agree with or they don't like. These are like cyber bullies. They pick fights with people because they know in real life they would never stand in front of somebody and do that. Because most of the people who do things like that are weak and whatever. Look... There's a lot of things in life that I wouldn't do, okay? I go to a comic shop, and they have grown men who buy My Little Pony and call themselves bronies. Do I think that's kind of strange? Absolutely. Am I going to knock somebody for doing it? Absolutely not. Th that's his thing. Guy walked out, told me to have a sparkly day. You know what? I'm glad someone wants me to have a sparkly day. I would like to have a sparkly day. Uh, I'm not a brony. Now, if that's what they like to do, so be it. Everybody has the right to do what they want to do in life. Choose what they want to do. Let them be happy. Don't knock them for it. The only reason people knock other people is because they're miserable in their own life. Again, I wouldn't store my books that way, but his enthusiasm was very contagious and he was very excited about it. So, that's it. That's kind of just a, a little rant. Let people do what they want to do. Don't let anybody dictate what you do or make you feel bad about what you like. If you like it and you're okay with it, that's all that matters. Bottom line, all that matters. So, you know, um, I appreciate all the viewer support. I appreciate the questions. Um, I try to get back to the answer. You know, if you have a question, I try to get back to you as quick as possible. Um, there's a couple other things. I have a, a, a person who has asked me to do uh, a video as it relates to subscription creases uh, from the 60s when they used to, because not every, you can always, couldn't always go and just buy a book at a comic shop. They had sometimes they got mailed and folded in half. So I will uh, do a video uh, maybe even tonight as it relates to subscription creases. So um, again, in my new combo pickup, a little rant, and I hope you liked the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great night.